Small diameters can be measured with vernier calipers. Sometimes objects are too small or round to measure with a normal ruler, like the diameter of a pipe or the thickness of a metal rod. That's where vernier calipers come in. They can measure both inner diameter, like inside of a pipe, and outer diameter, like the outside of a cylinder. They also measure depths using a small depth probe. The vernier caliper has two scales, main scale and vernier scale, that together give very precision reading. The accuracy is 0.01 cm or 0.1 mm. If you want to measure the diameter of a small glass marble, a vernier caliper gives a much more accurate result than a ruler. Uh, very small diameters can be measured with a screw gauge. When, we, when you need to measure something really tiny like the thickness of a wire or a small screw, the screw gauge is the best choice. It works like a mini screw. Each turn of the screw moves the spindle a very small distance. This helps measure small dimensions with very high accuracy. It has two scales, the pitch scale and the circular scale and the accuracy is 0.001 cm or 0.01 mm. If you measure the thickness of a copper wire and get 0.32 mm, that's using a screw gauge. Mass can be measured with a physical balance. Mass tells us how much matter an object contain. To measure mass, we use a physical balance. It works on the principle of comparison, means balancing an unknown mass with known standard weights. The pointer shows equilibrium when both sides are equal. It gives mass reading in grams or kilograms. You can measure the mass of a small block or even fruit in the lab using a physical balance.